It failed, but it was attempt to gamble for the best possible outcome. Buongiorno, today we will talk about the streams of the mind. The phenomenal Leonardo da Vinci can perhaps be best described to the element that he loved the most, water. This element fascinated his whole life and perhaps shaped his mind the most. He once said about water, but it also could be about his mind and art, that it changed as into as many natures as there are different places to which it passes. And as the mirror changes with the color of its own subjects, so it alters with the nature of the place. This is, I think, the best description of Leonardo's mind. As Leonardo da Vinci's mind also is like water, it's always in process, it is in everlasting change, but remains nevertheless the same. Like the streams that are heading for the sea starting in his hometown, Leonardo's mind was always seeking different paths, but always moving forward to a bigger vision. He remained it engaged, playful in his mentality, like a small brook, sometimes jumping, sometimes dividing, nevertheless, everything coming together to a bigger picture. When something evoked Leonardo's ambition or curiosity, he began to get into the steady flow of creative force. It didn't matter to him how much he was breaking common procedure, as long as he could uphold his creative workflow. It is almost like watching a child's engagement, awareness, curiosity and enjoyment in every moment of his artistic work. Working on the last sopra, this was his idea of a workflow. He said, every once in a while, go away and take a relaxing break. And when you come back to your work, your judgment will be better. This is something that the overseers interpreted as foolish, but it shows that what was uh, important to him was his workflow and the outcome. And in order to spend all the time he needed to perfect every detail, Da Vinci tested his own technique uh, again and again. He primed the wall with a material that he hoped would accept the tempera to protect the paint against the mantra. It failed, but it was attempt to gamble for the best possible outcome because he was developing a method that didn't break his uh, workflow. It is perhaps this playfulness of his work that is connecting also to our playful mind and is making his work so accessible. But as lighthearted as his approach is, it has something bigger as a goal. We have a sense that it is about the enjoyment of the work, not just about the shallow pleasure or fun or just achievement. Leonardo understood to use the enjoyment to get his potential in flow. This staying in the flow is perhaps one of his secrets to unlock conscious and subconscious powers of the human mind.